Hey everybody, it is now the 6th of July. Oh my gosh, the 6th of July. <laughs> the year's half over, we've celebrated, and so what'd you do over the weekend, Lisa? Um, wow, well, my boys are in 4-H, oh, and okay. so the fair is coming up next week, the Hardin County Fair. Yeah. Um, so just, you know, showing how to get those final woodworking projects oh put together. And then we went over to my brother's house and... Um, you know, fireworks are legal. Yes, they are. And so... Um, but not in the city of Ames. Okay, so we weren't in the city of Ames. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I think we're on the outskirts, actually. But, yes. <laughs> but her sister um, is from Missouri. So, you know, where oh. else a better place to actually really buy some serious fireworks right. was Missouri. Oh. So we had a great just family day of just hanging out by oh, the pool fun. and just lighting off fireworks oh, and cool. smoke bombs. Yeah, I got boys, right? Poopy puppies. <laughs> Never heard of those. Oh my, you would love a poopy puppy. Oh my puppy. gosh, I have three grandsons. They so would yeah. love a poopy next probably, year. Okay, poopy puppy. all right, grandma's in charge of the poopy puppies. <laughs> because having boys, you know, yes. nothing about poop is a big deal. It is. Yeah, they will love it. But stand back. You have to watch my little video because okay. we took and it, it blows up at the end. So oh, be careful. Okay. But we'll watch yeah. that. Yeah. So what'd you do? Uh, nothing. Well, I golfed a little. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was nice. I had a, kind of a little staycation. Oh, nice. Yeah, I had a little nice getting some stuff done and relaxing, movies, and a little outside, oh. a little golf. So it was a nice weekend. That's good. Yeah, Sometimes it was relaxing. Sometimes it's as busy as real estate is. It was. It was a nice half-year break. It was kind yeah. of like the, the end of the first six months of the year and just ready for the next six months. Right. Yeah. yeah. Kind of recharge. Exactly. Woo! Exactly. So <laughs> ready to go. If you want to buy a house, she's all recharged. I'm ready. I'm recharged. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the lending process. We've been talking about inspections the last couple of weeks. And when I'm working with buyers and they're in that process and it's a few weeks or a few weeks, few months out, out from, from like when they really need to be somewhere. Yeah. But when is the right time for them to lock in their rate and really what is that? Right. So that's kind of probably one of the biggest questions that we get because, you know, you've applied and you're still looking for a house. And um, actually, and there's two different personalities a little bit. Some people come in and they are very much watching the market and they right. know everything about it. And they right. wish I had a crystal ball that told them everything. <laughs> yes, right. right. I, would exactly. be, I would be like the best loan officer ever if I could figure that out. Yeah. Um, and then we have ones that are just like, nope, I'm happy with that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you yep. can tell the gamblers and the not gamblers. So um, typically, once somebody is really interested in the house, okay. or you, you call me or they have called me and mm -hmm. said, I have a contract right. and I'm, you know, found the house in my dreams and we're, you know, got a contract, we're going to buy it. Um, then my next question typically is when is the closing date? Right. Because that closing, so rates have a time period on them. So when you lock in an interest rate, um, you have a certain time that that okay. rate lock, that's a rate lock, it's good for. Okay, so it's there, it expires, in other words. It you does expire. Okay. So, um, so, and typically the longer you use a rate, okay. um, there can be a difference. And when I say a difference, some people are like, oh, Usually that's about an eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> so 0.125 right. difference in your interest rate sometimes. And it really depends on the market okay. and where that market is. But um, if you use a 15-day a rate lock, which we don't do hardly any of, but because right. you have to be clear to close and right, everything exactly. to do that. But um, a 15-day rate lock is usually better, has better pricing. You have a better rate than if you do a 60-day rate lock just because okay. you're using that rate for a longer period of time. Okay. When I say worse i mean like i said there's like an eighth difference okay. in that rate sometimes all right so basically when you're locking in your rate you're kind of picking your interest rate you are picking okay. your interest rate. and it's so a little not, bit like um so you're not what so you're not like just waiting till the week of closing and oh, no. whatever rate that is no yes no. okay no and most people want to know what the rate is because sure. that determines what your payment, payment is. is right and there's the market moves and the market moves every day and the market moves actually within the day every okay. single day all right um which some people don't realize but mm -hmm. the mark if you watch the market it's always moving so when something comes out um like our kind of a general thing is when the economy actually mm -hmm. is doing really well and we have really positive job reports and positive things, then typically our rates actually get worse. Okay. When there's something negative that happens in the economy or something is announced, then mm. a lot of times, and a lot of that's where people are putting their money. Are they putting it in money, okay. um, mortgage-backed <clears throat> securities or are they putting it in the stock market? 
Um, okay. And so those things, yeah, right. So that's yeah. just a very high level, six thousand foot view. <laughs> yes. But it's but that so our rates do move. Okay. Um, and they can move, and until you're locked in, okay. you're subject to them changing, changing for the worse or for the better. Okay. So if I if if a buyer right now is starting just starting to look, okay, yes. it's it's the sixth of July, and they you know they have a lease that goes through December thirty first. Now in Ames, that wouldn't happen. It'd be she July thirty first. Right but, <laughs> <lease December>. <laughs> but my lease is up December thirty first, right. so I'm going to be looking to buy a purchase in December. Mm -hmm. So this is obviously really too early to rate lock. So you're really looking at November mm -hmm. is really when yeah, you October. want to get. You could okay. do sixty days. Okay, so sixty days. Can you do like a ninety day? So we have the opportunity to lock in a lot farther, but there's a cost to do that. Okay. And so if you want a 90 day or a 120 day, because some people are building a house, right? And right, so they have a true. six month time. Mm -hmm. And right now we're in an interest rate environment where there's pretty stable. Okay. Um, sometimes we get into an interest rate environment where um, there's economic news or they're already on the rise. Okay. Um, you know, we had one time where interest rates went crazy, right? So if you're in that, you do have the opportunity to say, I want to lock in. And I'd like okay. to pay to lock that in. You usually get a portion of it back when you close. So okay. if you close on the loan, you might get a portion back. And there's usually opportunity right before closing to do a float down if rates were better than when you locked in. But that's kind of a whole new topic. Okay, but wow. you could, there's a there's a lock to buy, lock to build, lock to thing. But okay. there's a fee to do that. All right. You can do a 60 day lock without, at least with our company, it doesn't have a fee okay. to lock it in for 60 days. The 60 days would be pretty normal time period for... Very normal. 45 yeah. days yep. is even exactly. super normal mm -hmm. for yep. at least this area. Because mm -hmm. um, right now, when I'm, if I'm writing a purchase agreement today, we're usually looking at 45, maximum 60 days to close. Because yes. once people have made that decision, they're ready, they're ready to, to move. Right. right. And usually the seller gets out and depends if the house is empty or exactly. not empty. But, if, yep. but 45 days is for this area is very typical. Yep. So, um, all right. Rate lock. So the other thing would be, so sometimes people always ask me, can it, can it change? Well, it can't go up and they really don't, they want it, right? Oh, right nobody right. wants their interest rate to go up. Right. They're like, I'm locked in, right? So I'm locked in. They're like, but what if it goes down? That's kind yeah, of a good question, question. I get. Yeah. Um, typically it's kind of like when you sell stocks or anything like that, you oh. know, you've sold or you, you're at the racetrack and you put in, once you hand it over, that's the horse that's, you bid on, okay. right? Or you sold your stock. Well, that's the price you got. Um, we do, and most companies, I mean, at least ours, has a float down option. Oh, but that, okay. But and that's that, what a float down means. That was a float, yes. Okay. And usually you're not going to get then, because you have locked in, mm -hmm. you're not going to get the best, best rate. Mm -hmm. But if the market moves enough that it improves our rates by a quarter or more, tip, I mean, just oh, okay. on a very general, broad right. guideline, um, you ha the opportunity is there to float okay. down. Okay. So, so if, you, if you're, you know, if, if, $50 a month makes a big right. difference. It might right. be worth it in the long run to have that float down option. Right. Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. Yeah. For some people, that's a big deal. And right. Other people, it, I mean, it just depends, it depends. on the, and it right, depends on the loan amount, depends on the scenario, depends on a lot of things. Exactly. But, exactly. So. Um, yeah, that's kind of the very... And that's why you need to have somebody to talk to on a daily yes. basis if you want to. <laughs> right. To at least to understand this process. <laughs> right. Exactly. So if you want to know more about rate locking yeah. and what it is, and hopefully this helped you kind of decide, you know, what I need to talk to my lender about. Right. And you should about. be aware. Mm -hmm. You should know about the rate lock. And that's right. why we always talk to people like, here's your payment. And some people are risk takers. Mm -hmm. And some people are like, nope, I love that payment. I am good with that payment. Yep lock me in because I want to think about moving. I don't want to have to think every day right. about what, how the market is moving or right. where I'm going to end up. So, right. Cause it, since it moves every day, you don't want to be, have to recalculate that every day. Once you find a number that works for you right. and your family and your lifestyle right. and your budget, right. it's good to go ahead and lock that in. But a lot of people like that. Yeah. yeah. And I, but I will say, I do have some people that, man, they love that. That's part of their DNA <laughs> is to watch that. And so yeah. we have a lot of conversations about it throughout oh, the bet. process. I bet. Yeah. So. Lisa, what's my rate today? Right. Right. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Can you yeah. just text me every day? <laughs> <laughs> and you do have an app, don't you? We do. Yes. yes. So yeah. So our mortgage app is great because um, we usually, well, we update our rate on the basic program, right. but it's great for calculating your payment. So there you go. It's fabulous. Cool. For all yeah. those tech savvy people like that are watching Facebook live. Exactly. Yeah. All you can you use the apps. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> well, thanks for tuning in today, and we will have another subject for you next week. We will. All right. Yeah. Stay, well, stay cool if you can out there. Yeah. In Iowa, it's really humid. It's really humid, and I'm golfing today. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be tough you out there. Good. You will be glowing, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to be evening, so the sun might be in my eyes, oh, too. It's going to be a little tough. So. But anyway, <laughs> if you're extending your 4th of July holiday and you're still not working, but you're enjoying watching Facebook, we will yes. see you again next week. We'll see you next week. All right. All right. Bye-bye.